Hello, my lovelies. How are you guys? Sorry, I was turning off or lowering the volume on my phone. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're doing the monthly readings. This is for all signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to apologize. I know we're a bit behind. For those of you guys that have emailed, please be patient. We're still trying to catch up to the past two months. So we are booking quickly. We are now booking for April and May. So just putting it out there, you guys. All right, I'm gonna do this a little bit um, different. We're gonna do the shells, then we're gonna jump into the tarot, and then we're going to get a spirit's message for you guys, okay? I wanted to go a little bit more detailed into this reading, so let's see how cancers are doing. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. What are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021? All right. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you guys. You may be dealing with a lot of issues that have to do with family or the family dynamic. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be either healing, uh, healing certain wounds from the past, from childhood. Uh, this could be reconnecting with uh, a parent, uh, a mother figure, father figure, someone that... Um, perhaps was absent or perhaps wasn't present in your childhood. I do see that there is certain karmas that we're dealing with. And I don't mean to say your karma, Cancer. I feel that they're getting to that point where they're reflecting. There is a lot of self-reflection. There is a lot of things where I see them pacing. I see them walking back and forth, analyzing um certain things that they know they could have done better uh, in regards to your raising. Um, so again, I feel that there is something that has to do um, with the family dynamic. This could be, as an example, if there's been a loss or a parent that has passed on, um, it could be a brother, a sister, someone that is connected to the family dynamic that is either speaking to you about them, uh, some type of healing that is going to be coming up in the month of March. Um, again, if they are still living, this could be almost a reconnection type of thing, uh, where it starts to unfold in the month of March. Um, if they weren't absent, um, physically, I mean, there could be some type of absence that you felt like you couldn't rely on them or like you felt like they weren't there for you, uh, in a supportive way in early childhood. So I feel that those those issues are going to be coming up in the month of March. Uh, that's if you're not already dealing with that cancer. Um, and I feel that it has a lot to do with you guys are in this phase of retrospection, um, ending certain cycles or ending certain karmic cycles. Um, this could be you being challenged to, it's almost like, um, I hear you like reprimanding a child or reprimanding your child um, and having almost this this feeling, this gun, gut wrenching feeling of like, what am I doing? It's almost like a self reflection. Like, am I doing the same thing that was done to me? Uh, this is internalizing everything emotionally um, of our past traumas. And I think that that's going to be coming up in the month of March, um, for sure, for a lot of you guys. And this could be uh, you dealing with those issues either with your children or like I said a family dynamic um, now in regards to finances I see a lot of opportunities coming for you guys for the month of March however they are telling me uh, March April and May is going to be very important in regards to the moves that you make financially uh, what they're saying here is it is important if you're making any big purchases, a home, a car, anything like that, really make sure to do your research. Make sure that you you know what you're doing, what you're getting into uh, in regards to any major uh, expenses that you may be doing or dealing with. Um, if you do have, as an example, if you recently got a car or some type of purchase that you've made, what they're telling you is really um I don't want to say like do the research. It's more about being mindful um, because there may be an issue that comes up. And, and they're telling me specifically 
For some of you guys, just be careful with your cars. Make sure that your tires are good. Make sure that they're not running on very low thread or whatnot because um, they're telling me something about a something about a vehicle um, not being in top notch or not being. Um, there's something about it uh, that they're trying to get my attention. Uh, so for some of you guys, it could be that it needs new tires. For others of you, it needs an oil change, anything like that, that can prevent um, a, a more expensive expense. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, like I said, when it comes to your finances, I do see opportunities. I do see you guys expanding. Um, what they're showing me, it's almost like I've been so fixated or I've been so consumed with wanting to make this happen and what they're showing me is like you're not seeing the other blessings that are coming your way or you're not paying attention to the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you because you've been under the impression that only through this outlet am I going to be successful only through this outlet am I going to find financial stability and what they're telling you is no dear they're bringing you opportunities because this outlet may not be bringing to you the financial stability you're wanting so pay attention to that cancer all right, my lovelies, let's get into your tarot cards. Yeah, they keep bringing up um, they keep bringing up a vehicle. For some of you guys, it could be that you don't have a vehicle and you're going to be purchasing a vehicle, something like that, that is connected with a car, a form of transportation. What they're telling you is don't be very quick to, you know, oh, I love it, the body, I love it, I'm going to get it, um, without really testing it or without really running it. Um, be practical in your approach when purchasing either a vehicle or a home. It could be like, it could be almost like, um, it's almost like this feeling of an old house, uh, that has been updated or that has been like revamped, but like the, I don't know, the drainage, anything like, like that is underground or, or something that you're not seeing on the superficial level um, may become an issue. So again, just do your research, you guys, when you guys are purchasing cars or a home, especially a home. That's a major expense. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2021. What is unfolding? What is coming towards Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Or something Venus. Okay. So right at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning for you guys. This could be an opportunity that comes to you. Again, they keep telling me like you're fixated on something when it comes to your career, when it comes to business, or when it comes to your finances. And what they're telling you is you need to pay attention to the opportunities that are unfolding before you. It's almost kind of like when people are trying to manifest... Um, abundance or financial stability and your mind only grasps the idea it can only come through uh, the company or the business I work for so I want to get a higher position etc and then someone shows up or a friend comes and tells you hey uh, they're hiring at this other company doing what you do but it pays much more money and you're like no I'm trying to manifest um, making more money where I'm at you see what I'm saying? It's like, don't let those opportunities pass you by just because you think that the way to manifest or the way to your financial growth is going to come through a certain branch, a certain arena, a certain career, a certain business. Um, success is success. Do you see what I'm saying? Financial stability is financial stability. It may not come dressed in what you expect, but those opportunities are there. So grasp them. Uh, Ace of Cups can also represent emotional fulfillment or emotional stability, a new beginning in love for some of you. All right, so your first card here is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could represent a fire energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo doesn't have to be. Um, could be their sun or rising. However, what they're telling me here with the Queen of Wands is you need to be more assertive in the decisions that you make, Cancer. So this could be kind of like stop self-doubting yourself. Believe in your power. Stop comparing yourself to others or to what others are doing or I 
thought that at this age, I should be doing this and this and that. Stop that is what they're telling you. Um, stop being so harsh on yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, being where you're at right now. It, it doesn't determine where you're going or will you, where you will end up. It is up to you, but you have to start with confidence. And they're also telling me here, um, for some of you guys, it could be almost like I'm feeling this energy of like jealousy or envy. Now, this could be you uh, towards certain people around you that you see are progressing or, or doing good. If this isn't you, this could be the uh, fire energy that may be looking at you uh, with a bit of spiteful eyes. Um, let's see. We have the lover's card here. So being at crossroads for some of you guys, the new love that's coming in may be directly connected with this queen of wands. It could be that you're dealing with a person or will be dealing with the person that is coming out of a relationship, perhaps a person. When I say coming out of a relationship doesn't necessarily mean they just broke up. It could just represent that this person is still clinging on to the person that's coming in with the lover's card. Now, this could be that you self-doubt yourself too often when it comes to love cancer. It could be that you allow other people to breadcrumb you. Almost like they can't give me commitment, um, but I really like them, so I'm going to give them the opportunity. Maybe they'll change their mind. What Spirit is telling you here is you need to bring up your expectations or you need to have boundaries. Or in your mind, understand what red flags you're not looking for. So when they start to show, walk away from that connection. Yeah. We have here the Knight of Swords. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the fire energy. Could be a person that comes in and out. It is a very strong physical attraction. However, they are inconsistent or they are usually not for the long run. So with the Knight of Swords, what they're telling you here is be mindful of that. Um, yeah, I keep hearing breadcrumbing. So I don't know if someone's like... Yes, I promise you that, you know, we're going to take it to the next level. You've been dating for the past three years. They still are dealing with the person from the past, but you're still hopeful. Um, what they're telling you here is that you need to make a decision in regards to this and how it moves forward. And you're not going to get any changes if you don't make, if you don't take action that is different from what you've been doing in the past. Now, for others of you, this could represent a, for those of you guys that are single, it could represent a very strong connection uh, that comes in or unfolds with this Ace of Cups over here, new love. Um, but it can come through uh, an individual that perhaps is looking at you, already knows you, perhaps you know them, but I see them either looking at you or really, and they're showing me like texting. So it could be someone you're texting. It could be someone that is following your social media, that is looking at everything you're doing, but they're not really taking action. They're not really speaking up. I feel that more than anything, they're trying to figure out the type of person you are or the type of life that you lead. Um, with the King of Swords here, yeah, this is a person that's gathering knowledge. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may have a stalker or you may have a person that is uh, emotionally invested in you, but you're unaware because they're doing it behind the scenes. They're not being very straightforward. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with the person from the past that is still stalking you. Um, Although you do have an opportunity with a new person that's coming in and it's coming in rather quickly here with the Knight of Swords, a uh, very assertive type of energy here with the King of Swords. Um, so yeah, I definitely do see new love coming towards uh, you guys and opportunities in regards to uh, stabilizing um, certain aspects. And, and, and I want to say what they're telling me here right now is it's very important to stay in your power, Cancer. Um, so it's almost like for some of you guys, there is this feeling of fear, like you can never manifest something that is long-term or for some reason they end up leaving just as quickly as they come in. And if that is your situation, what they're telling you here is you need to stop the toxic behavior of entertaining people that you're very aware are not looking for something serious. The moment they show you a red flag, the moment they show you they're inconsistent, walk the hell away from that. You're wasting your time. I do see a new person coming in and this is a person that is of authority. This could be a person that is very, uh, has been in the career field that they've been with for a very long time. This is a person that is very stable, 
But more than anything, the king of swords is a person that is very decisive and knows exactly what it is that they want. You don't want to be dealing with this knight of sword energy. This is immature type of energy. So again, just putting it out there. All right, let's see what... Oh, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Okay, so you have the fish. Again, I feel that there is a lot of financial opportunities here for you guys. You have the fish and this represents finances, money, wealth. Uh, here's the thing. When it comes to your finances, there is something that you're very either gifted at or that makes you stand out. Maybe you could be very shy about it. But what they're telling you is the moment you embrace this individuality that you carry cancer, that's going to be the, uh, that's going to almost like a spiral um, situation that is going to snowball. It's like a snowball effect that it's going to bring to you more opportunities and more financial growth, okay? The, you know, the, the fish usually indicates, it, it obviously talks about finances. It talks about, you know, growth. It talks about wealth or the opportunity to bring wealth, to manifest wealth in your love, uh, not in your love, sorry, in your life. But this can also represent um, individuality. Uh, and it's almost like a feeling of, I'm shy about it because I feel like it makes me stand out. But what they're telling you is embrace that energy. Now, if you're dealing with a person that has a tendency or that has issues in regards to uh, alcohol or any type of addictions, anything like that, what they're telling you is you cannot save this person. There is a need for you to cut the ties because there may be almost like a challenging thing that you have a tendency of doing, of trying to save people or trying to help people that don't want to be helped. All right. So this is a message that is not going to be directly to everyone. Uh, but if this resonates with you, take it for what it is. What they're telling you here is um, there is a need to cut ties with people that are keeping you down or that are not allowing you to grow. When we talk about love and romance, because we do have the queen here, if you're dealing with the person that you know is committed, uh, 34 can represent discretion. So it could represent like a uh, romance or a love affair or anything like that. And if you're hoping that this person will walk out of that relationship, what they're telling you is, no, this person is not. You're the one that's putting yourself in this situation. So either with this crossroads, either you make a decision to walk away from something that is not going to bring to you the stability you're looking for and is just wasting your time or deal with uh, the drama that will ensue. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys guidance. I hope you enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.